my, my man crush on Jack Wilson. Long documented. <laughs> oh. So jealous of him. Oh, I'm so jealous of his wife. <laughs> this got weird. <laughs> <laughs> you mean it got Anyways. so right. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, two men on, nobody out. Kershaw in a little bit of trouble here, and he's fallen behind uh, Keppinger. Keppinger actually managed to get on base the first time up. Is, which he doesn't do much. You still don't have him in the statistics. I don't oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh, wow. He just appeared in the statistics. <laughs> I don't even know if those are his stats. <laughs> I don't either. I should probably check that. <laughs> Oh man! If only if only our listeners knew how much fun we had doing this. It's like I I'm recording with Volch, and Volch is like it's like one single to left, him. and that's gonna Starts score to a nap. And we're trying to do our. Wait, was that was that caught or? No, no, he singled it into left field. Oh, a run and... came in. I was. I thought... Yeah, yeah, and oh. Diving play by the right fielder, and the runners are going to get back. But that was pretty spectacular for the second out. Yeah, taking away the run is whoever's in right field, Nelson Cruz. Anyways, you're recording with Fultz, you were saying? Yeah, he was like, it was really late for him, so he was like passing out. I was about ready to take a nap, so I was passing out, and the game was boring as balls. I didn't realize there was anything interesting going on until Volch decide, noticed it was a no-hitter in the seventh inning and immediately <laughs> jinxed it because he didn't want a no-hitter. I tried to convince him that if it were a no-hitter, that would mean that the least possible batters would probably come up and the game would be over sooner, but he still pr- said he wanted it to be broken up. So That evil man. Anyways, the, uh, the Gorons get out of the inning with uh, the damage limited but the scrubs still get one on the board on the other hand you and me we end up giggling at bullshit stuff in this game or me sticking around <laughs> with the stat sheet so <laughs> oh I know it's just uh, it's just how it goes I mean it helps that I you know didn't just start following baseball this year yeah I, t- I, I tell know, you I'm is... talking about Logan re- just demoted to the minor leagues Morrison Logan was sent back down to the minors? Yep. Why? Because he pissed off management by dicking around. And, like, they were like, all right, cut cut the shit. Be serious. Stop dicking around with that Twitter shit. And he's like, oh, you're not going to demote me. And they're like, oh, really? <laughs> Fulch's sports crushes are the strangest things. Like, Luol Deng. <laughs> Why Luol Deng? Max Scherzer. I don't know how many strikeouts that is, but it's at least a couple. Yeah, Emilio Bonifacio. What, what about That's him? the one that he had a huge... And he's on, oh, well, he's got like a 12-game hang streak right now. And I'm like, and? <laughs> who, who doesn't have like a 12-game hitting streak right now? It seems like everybody's putting together hit streaks. Didn't Uglas end today? Yep, like 32, 33 games, something. 33, something like that. <clears throat> I'm um, surprised you didn't have a crush on him, but I know. He, of yeah. course, he's probably you know, he's someone that other people have heard of. Yeah, I know. Both well, I mean, it's not like Lou All Deng was a, you know, nameless phony or something like that. This is gonna be a tough play for the third baseman. Turns, fires, gets the out. <clears throat> what a play! Yeah, he he tells me about how somebody on board it. I don't really listen to who he says it is, but somebody has like a fantasy team. I've been trying to convince this guy to pick up all these random little no name players <laughs> who are like have who are like rookies who have like potential eventually, but it's like, yeah, you should definitely dump Ryan Braun for Logan Morrison. Well the Fulch is so funny. I usually sign on my computer and I'll look at AIM and he'll he'll there'll be and it's always in all caps. So there will be like five messages he sent me about some player or some sport mm-hmm. or telling me about something Arsenal did. Uh, that's like a swinging bunt here. That was weird. 
Very I think he check swing. Did he check swing there? Did he check swing that? I think I don't know. Hmm. That one's lined in the right field for a base hit by Col- Colby Rasmus, who is hitting 125 coming into this game. Yeah, he kind of blows on pink. Chris, Chris has to move Ruiz up in the order with how he's hitting. I know this is an out right here, but Ruiz is hitting over 300 in the postseason, and he's hitting ninth. Yeah, and he still batted better than Rasmus in the regular season. Well, yeah, Rasmus in the regular season hit uh, 175, and he's managed to fall off from there to 125 <laughs> in the postseason. Wow, that's poor. I, it's so weird. Like, I, I, it doesn't make any sense that Swisher dominated so much and then struggling in the postseason. Like, mm-hmm. the game shouldn't know that this is the postseason and, like, apply added pressure. <laughs> that can't be. Like, that just no, that doesn't it's... happen. Well, of course, every time I, I talk about, like, the separated, um, like, the first half and the second half stats and the postseason stats, De, De Runia, like, tells me that, you know, it makes no difference whatsoever. <laughs> These, th- this, the game doesn't know it's the second half. The game doesn't know it's the postseason. The game doesn't know they won the last game. I'm like, fuck you, dude. I'm trying to get a, I'm trying to get a story going here. Yeah, I know. This is a storyline. And this is foul. Pedroia, 0 for 2. Fucking bum today. And he strikes out swinging. Two strikeouts today. Dustin Pedroia, I think he needs to get dropped down. Steven Drew's hitting 400. Let Steven Drew lead off. Punk, put der- put Pedroia ninth. Anyway, Tulewiski's up. Enough with my vendetta. Tulewiski, you still owe this team a run. Exactly. I'm <laughs> probably going to be if he clubbed a home run here. Not going to happen, though. Nope. Up steps Keppinger, who may or may not be hitting 167 this postseason. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's in for Longoria, so it's not like he was voluntarily in there, although Longoria was having a rough postseason after yeah, a really that's... good regular season. <clears throat> well, Longoria is injured, so he, he won't be able to play until – you know, game seven of the World Series or something like that. He he actually won't be able to play until game six of next year's World Series. Oh, right. If his team gets it. That's how the injury rules work. Mm-hmm. You know, completely fair. and you, you realize that if your entire team had been injured and you'd been picked, forced to pick up nine random batters, it probably would have done better this year. <laughs> probably would have made the playoffs. Oh, I still love that we figured out that that Russell Martin <laughs> being injured for me was actually a good thing. <laughs> oh, well, man. I mean, remember your your team went to the World Series on Derek Jeter getting injured. <laughs> no, well, yeah, 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 that is true because I would have never gotten Jack Will. I wouldn't have benched Jeter without seeing Jack Wilson performing well. Mm-hmm. So. <laughs> and that was one of those times where we knew that Jeter had objectively better stats, but and De Runia would have been like, "Oh, it doesn't matter. We know that he's like, this doesn't matter. As that one is going to be, ah." Oh. Yeah, but, that was that was hit all the way. A Rod's hit a couple of, mm-hmm. and for some reason but, they're intentionally walking Cabrera. Anyways, we, what we knew that Jeter was objectively had better stats, but he was hitting 200. Um, physics was hitting 400. Got, or hitting 500. Gotta go with a hot hand. And he continued to stay hot. <laughs> oh, and it wasn't just hitting hot. He, he would like, like... He could hit for power. This is going to be two, probably. Yep. Got him. He was he, he would get on base. He would steal bases. Mm-hmm. And I, I don't think... I think his defense was top-notch, too. He, so He just fucked with bitches. Top. Yep. And then Tomei literally, like... Was hitting just under one homer a game, I'm pretty sure. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> All right. That one ripped down the left field line. I am going to pull up those stats for that season, and you can tell me if this game becomes interesting. <laughs> 
Well, the, it is the is this the bottom of the six already? Are you kidding me? That one's ripped deep to right field, and it's a foul ball. Ah, uh, you tricked me into thinking it was interesting for a second there. <laughs> so Jack Wilson, regular season 563 hitter, um, did not have any regular season homers, um, and Jim Tome hit 12 homers in 16 games while hitting 328. Nice. Is that one Morneau gets on base here? He clubs it up to in the, in the, ah, in the hole between uh, third and short. Oh, I know what you're thinking of. You're thinking of when Jack Wilson decided in the first four games of four-day baseball two that he wanted to hit like four homers <laughs> and was ridiculously somehow homering. Um, in postseason, was... he hit he only hit four fifteen. Disappointing. Ah, uh, cooled off a little bit. Anyways, that was a. Sick double play turn by the uh, Gorons, and it's going to probably get him out of trouble here because Jason Bartlett's terrible. Three postseason steals for uh, Jack Wilson. Oh, yeah. Get on base. He'd swipe bases. Played great defense. Check. Physics. Got ton- he, he was a wingman for Exta, and... Um... Oh, Bartlett clubs one up the middle, and that is going to score a run. Bartlett coming through in the clutch with the two out ribby. Clutch. Yeah. Yeah. Wilson. All I had to do was, was go out with Wilson and, uh, you know, obviously there's,